Jimmy Miracle here. Welcome to my studio. I'm super pumped to show you this DIY easel that I just made for $40 with simple materials, two by fours from Lowe's. And I have some caster wheels on the bottom. It is fully adjustable. It wasn't hard to do. I spent 40 bucks and some labor and love. I spent honestly about 12 hours making it, so it didn't just snap into existence, but I'm not a professional woodworker. I used a table saw, miter saw, and a drill with some construction screws. Let me show you how this works. It's pretty simple. You could do it yourself so that you are no longer using what I was using for a long time, which is, this easel that I got from Dick Blick years ago, no wheels at the bottom, very difficult to move, and it doesn't sit level. Let me show you the main, it is, <laughs> this easel honestly drove me nuts for years, just to get a canvas to sit on this without the surface moving. Here's the top. It's pretty rickety, it was about 200 bucks. I wasted my money. Uh, I was so glad that I just took the time to build a new easel. This is a 20 by 30 inch oil on linen painting, so it's about a medium size. It's a master copy that I did at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. years ago after Tiepolo. So it comfortably sits on here. It's pretty solid. This is level. I can again lock these all four caster wheels in place. I can move this easel if I want. I can adjust the height up and down with these pins. I can move it up two inches if I want to. Let me show you how to take a painting on and off. So you lift the top up, take a painting off, and then adjust the top down. It's that simple. It's not rocket science. These are the holes that I drilled every two inches with a quarter inch diameter drill bit. And then this is my quick little system of using these carriage bolts, which act as pins to hold the bottom of the easel in place. So that's how it works. You can do it yourself. What I like about the easel in the front is that I have a place to put my pallet. So basically it's kind of like a shelf in the front. And you put a different size painting on here. Here's a smaller one. So this is gonna be a little low. I'm gonna have to move it up. So it's higher at eye level. Slide these up. Put my pins in. And it's a quick little landscape sketch I did. The color is about 14 by 8 inches. Here's my easel setup. Paint palette goes here. And then also I have another shelf down here. I can keep some mediums. Here are the caster wheels at the bottom that basically you would step on to lock them in place here. Now that one's locked. If I want to pop it up, I flick it up with my foot. Anyways, the, the whole process took about 12 hours and I stained it with some Minwax Ipswich Pine Midtone Brown Stain and then put polyurethane on it just so it looks a little bit nicer. and doesn't look like two by four lumber with barcodes and all that stuff. So it just took a little bit of extra time to finish it out so that it looks like a, an easel that I'd want around in the studio. I'm super pumped about this that I no longer have to use that rickety old Dick Blick easel that was driving me mental for years. And I have a solid easel now that didn't cost me a thousand dollars. I'm I'm just a painter, I'm not a pro woodworker. There's no crank arms, it's pretty minimal, simple. You could easily do it yourself. 
I'll leave plans in the description below so that you can save up 40 bucks and a day and a half of time in order to crank one of these out and get your studio functioning in a much higher level. Instead of using these, these things will, uh, which for the next five years are gonna drive you nuts. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this was helpful and uh, move this camera up. Have a great day, enjoy painting, and I hope you level up your easel skills with a simple DIY adjustable easel with some two by fours, two carriage bolts, and four caster wheels. Good luck, have a great day.